Thank you. Well, we first met Zibby Owens back in 2019 and learned how her podcast to promote books was paying off for both readers and writers. This led to her to write her own very personal book about love, loss, and literature. Entertainment reporter Sandy Kenyon is here now with an update. Sandy. Liz Zibby Owens has sure capitalized on the success of her podcast, which is called Moms Don't Have Time to Read Books. Now this mother of four from Manhattan has written her own book, a memoir called Book Ends. Her podcast has made Zibby Owens one of the most influential people in publishing. I love recommending books to people. I love reading it and then giving the right book to the right person or putting two authors together. Since we first met her three years ago, Owens has talked to some of the most famous authors in the world, staged an award show to honor the best books, and started a publishing company. But her own book is the most personal of all her many projects. It put everything into context for me. It, it helped me make sense of periods of time in my life and why I felt that way then. It's been a very therapeutic journey. Zippy was born into a life of privilege, but as a shy child, she had trouble expressing herself. Reading proved her salvation. When you find the right book at the right time, it's such a healer. Which became crucial as Owens experienced bouts of depression and great loss, beginning when her friend Stacy was killed instantly on 9-11. I don't think I've ever really gotten over it. I think it completely changed who I was. How so? I had not even really considered mortality before Stacy died. Owens began writing back then, but living a full life meant bookends wasn't ready until now. It's about loss, but also about love. It was like a whole fairy tale. Marriage to movie producer Kyle Owens, motherhood, and a career where she gets to draw upon so many of her experiences. All the moments, which didn't make sense before, all make sense to me now. They're all helpful. And reading bookends proved very helpful to me. There's much more about her journey in this memoir of love, loss, and literature available everywhere starting tomorrow. Joe and Liz, she'll be on Good Morning America live in that show's second hour. Zibby found time to write. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you.